because day is observed on May 1 all over the world today to commemorate the historical struggle and sacrifices of the working people to establish an eight-hour work day. It is a public holiday in almost all the countries of the world. Since the Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries in Europe and the U.S., the workers in mills and factories had been working a long shift, 14 or even 12 hours a day. On May 1st in 1886, inspired by the trade unions, half of the workers at the McCormick Harvester Company in Chicago went on strike, demanding an eight-hour work day. Two days later, a workers' rally was held near the McCormick Harvester Company, and about 6,000 workers had joined it. The rally was addressed by the labor leaders. They urged the workers to stand together to go on with their struggles and not to give in to their bosses. Just at this moment, some strike breakers started leaving the meeting place. The strikers went down the street to bring them back. Suddenly, about 200 policemen attacked them with clubs and revolvers. One striker was killed instantly. Five or six others were seriously wounded, and many of them were badly injured. The events of May 1, 1886 is a reminder that workers will continue to be exploited until they stand up and speak out to gain better working conditions, better pay, and better lives. Lesson 3 International Mother Language Day Part 1 21 February is a memorable day in our national history. We observe the day every year as International Mother Language Day. The day is a national holiday. On this day, we pay tribute to the martyrs who laid down their lives to establish Bangla as a state language in undivided Pakistan in 1952. This is known as the language movement. The seed of the language movement was sown on 21 March 1948 when Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the then Governor General of Pakistan, at a public meeting in Dhaka declared that Urdu would be the only official language of Pakistan. The declaration raised a storm of protest in the eastern part of the country. The protest continued non-stop, gathering momentum day by day. It turned into a movement and reached its climax in 1952. The government outlawed all sorts of public meetings and rallies to prevent it. The students of Tata University defied the law and they brought out a peaceful protest procession on 21st February 1952. When the procession reached near Dhaka Medical College, the police opened fire on the students, killing Salah, Rafik, Barkat, and Jabbar. This enkindled the sparks of independent movement of Bangladesh. Lesson 4 International Mother Language Day Part 2 The 21st February has been observed as Shaheed Dibush every year throughout the country in remembrance of the Martyrs of Language Movement of 1952. The occasion begins in the early hours of the day with moaning sounds that recall the supreme sacrifices of our language martyrs. People wear black badges and go to the Shaheed Minar barefoot in procession, singing moaning songs. They play streets at the Minar. Many of them visit the graves of the Mar. 
Lesson 5 Independence Day 26th March of Independence Day is the biggest state festival. The day is celebrated every year in the country with great enthusiasm and fervor. It is a national holiday. All offices, educational institutions, shops, and factories remain closed on this day. The day begins with 31 gunshots. Early in the morning, the President and the Prime Minister, on behalf of the nation, place floral wreaths at the National Mausoleum at Savar. Then, diplomats, political parties, social and cultural organizations and freedom fighters pay homage to the martyrs. There are several cultural programs throughout the day highlighting the heroic struggle and sacrifices in 1971. Just 
Respect. 